In this video, we're going to focus on how you can use radio buttons to create beautiful chart effects here like these that on a chart type, it changes the chart correctly and it grabs it nicely here. So let's start and explore how we can do this and make it very dynamic based on a click. In this video, we're going to focus on the following question, which is one of the viewers is how to change the chart type with a radio button in Chart.js? And this is a great question because sometimes you want to change the chart type or how it looks like. So first of all, let's go to the video where the viewer was asking this. So it was on one of my other videos about multi-bar chart in Chart.js. And here, Gadget Meta was asking the following question, how to change chart type using radio button or checkbox, uh, like line chart to bar chart, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So here, this is a good point. Having a checkbox is probably not very practical for the type of charts. It probably would be more suitable to show multiple values of a chart or multiple lines on a chart or multiple bars. But definitely radio button is possible. So I'm going to focus on the radio button. So first of all, to do this, we are, what I want to do here is I want to go here on the website chartjs3.com, getting started. And once you are here, Scroll down here, you get this chunk of code. Make sure you copy this chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this is, please check the website here. Please check, oh sorry, please check this video, which is a breakdown of this code here. All right, so once I have this here, I'm going to paste this in here. I will copy this chunk of code in here and paste that in there, all right? So once I did that, I saved it. I will have now a nice bar chart here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create basically buttons and specifically radio buttons. And then after, once we select them, there should be a function that will understand once selected, it should change the chart into different types. For this, we're not able to use update. And the reason why update chart, and let me explain here what it, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, scroll down here to the API in the developer section. Here, what we need to do is we need to destroy the chart because if you do update, it will not it will basically only update the values and the scale, but not the way uh, the structure is, or the chart has been drawn. So let me show you this as an example here. So first of all, let's create some items here, and then I'll show you a quick sample. So in here, I'll just, let's make in two inputs. Oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted. Input here, and then we say type equals um, a radio, if I'm not mistaken. And then here, once we have that, we can say value equals, let's say bar. And we have another one is the name equals chart. All right, so it will understand that we can only select one of these and that these are all connected to each other. So we have this now, and then I say here a line, and let's make in here a pie chart. So what I'm going to do here is I say on click, and this on click will be change of a chart type. And this is a function and this chart type will basically grab whatever type we selected, which is the bar chart. This will be the bar chart. This will be the line chart. And there we are. And then this is the pie. All right, so if I save this now, of course, nothing happens yet. We do have now the items here. And I realize we should have some text, bar, line, pie. All right. There we are. So now we have this selected. All right, beautiful. You have to really click on it. I didn't put any labels, but it's fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this here. Let's make a function quickly. Function, and then here, chart type equals type, which is basically the uh, argument here. So this is the parameter. The parameter is basically the name of it, and the argument is the exact value, which is this. All right. So we have this here, then in a function here, the following. So what I'm going to say here, well, let's say we do update. This is the one that we probably would expect. We'll say here, what are we going to update? We're going to update in the config, the type says equal whatever the type is here. And you will see then we get an, get an issue. So we say here, my chart, which is a chart ID name. And then we say here, config. And then in the config, we say type. Config.type equals, and then we say here, let's say here, pi. Oh, sorry, no, type equal the type argument here or the value here. Once we did this, we can do here a semicolon. There is a my chart dot update. Save that. So once we select this refresh here, 
Now we select, you can see here now what's happening. It works nicely, but there's a problem. Here there's a space between because it grabs the original bar chart structure. And the pie chart here has these grid lines, which doesn't make any sense at all in this case. For especially this all doesn't mean anything for, for a pie chart. So we need to change it. So how do we change it? Not by updating, because updating will maintain the grid lines. Basically, it maintains the structure of it. It only will update maybe the values in here, or the numbers in here, or the values for in here, basically, speci specifically line chart or bar chart. But not if we have an object with some space here. This is offset in the grid lines. This will be maintained. Uh, like pie chart, it doesn't need grid lines. If, but the grid lines has been set already here because of a bar chart. So it has been maintained. So what we need to do is we basically need to destroy the chart and redraw it from scratch. This is why we're going to use destroy. So we're going to use destroy, use this, destroy the, any chart instance that is created. It will clean up any reference stored to the chart object within chart.js along with any associated event listeners attached by chart.js. All right, so basically means clean um, a blank canvas. That's probably the right term. Blank canvas means a, uh, a new canvas to paint on. So we're going to repaint something or we're going to paint on something blank. So but how do we do this? Well, we need to destroy it first. To understand destroy, we have here, you can say my chart destroy. Save that. And look what happens now. The moment I select this, it just destroys the chart. Where is the chart or where is the canvas? It's still in here. The only thing is that the canvas has nothing to draw in. All right. So what we need to do now is, and this is the only way I can really solve it correctly, so you don't have any uh, effects from the previous or older other charts, is to build multiple configs and we need to render again, basically initialize again, but we initialize it here. So I'm going to say here an if statement. And this if statement will say here if type equals so it's equal strict, um, let's say bar. That's the first one. Then what we want to do is I'm going to delete all of this stuff here. Then what we do is we're going to make this here. Let's remove the constant. We're not allowed to use constant twice, so this needs to be let. All right. So we say let, even though we get an issue to draw this now. Now. This will work nicely if I refresh here, and then if I select this, it doesn't work here, of course, but it shows here. So what if I can do now for the line chart as well? So you will see if I change this to a line chart, refresh, you can see here the line chart has been drawn, and then if I click on the bar chart, oh, oh, of course, it doesn't work here, of course, we need to change this. This is not allowed to do, sorry. We need to make a new config. I'm going to make another config, and this will be line. All right, and then I'll say here exactly the same structure. This will be line, and then here, convict, or what's the name of this convict? Because we cannot use it twice. So we have here convict, and then we can say here convict number two. Convict number two. Save that. Now this should work nicely. There you are, and you can see here no extra space of the offset. And if we go back here, bar chart has everything saved. So let's do now the pie chart finally, and then we're done. Pie, and here, make this config number three. I'm going to copy all of this and go to do some tiny adjustments on here. Say this number three, make this pie, and remove the scales begin at zero. That doesn't mean anything for a pie chart. Save this, refresh, select here, select there, select that. Uh, there you are. So this is basically how we do it and we can control this as well, but this is basically the basics of it and it's beautiful. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.